everybody, it's Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough for our January 17th Smalls auction. Now this portion of the sale is all uncatalogued and it begins at 10 a.m. Um, and we have the sale kind of broken down into areas. So at 10 o'clock we start with uncatalogued items, um, uh, you know, kind of box lots, everything, we kind of move it outside. You see some of the stuff under the table here. So there's a lot of good box lots and collectibles and, and tools and books, etc. So that'll be outside. That's the area number one. So then we come inside and we go into area number two. Imagine that, area number two is this section right here. All these um, like kind of architectural books and uh, uh, sets of uh, novels and some very nice boxed books and art books and big dictionaries. So this section right here, and we'll sell individual books and then we'll sell by the shelf lot and it'll go away. Okay, then we can move to area number three Area number three is right here. Now, I know that Tim has a truckload outside and probably we're gonna put some other area area three stuff here, but right now, area three has all these dolls here, has that nice uniform. Moving on, area number four, good collection right here of video games, Xbox games, PS2, uh, Hess trucks, um, interesting uh, collectibles like old fans and uh, sports memorabilia. Look at, look at that pretty cool statue right there about weightlifting, a weightlifting statue in the back. Um, neat items there. Moving on to area number five is over here. All those trivet stands, um, some nice collectible uh, silver plate. This is a very interesting thing right here. Here's about 80 Smurf characters all in the uh, container right here. Um, some of these, if you get the right ones, can be worth big money. There's 80 of them in there, 80 plus. Um, you see this section right here. We'll come back to this in a little bit. This is the um, this is all hockey equipment. This is going to sell later on in the evening, closer to five o'clock. We have everything from helmets and skates and shin pads and sticks and everything. We bought out a um, a pro shop a little while back. All right, that was area number five. Area number six is over here. Let me just walk up and down this table right here, and you see what you get. You have glassware. You have kitchen items. You have a uh, nice collection of um, solid copper um, outdoor lighting coming around here. This table will probably be more full by the time the sale rolls around. All right, that's area number six. So now let me jump over here. Area number seven is um, nice pottery, some very neat uh, collectible glassware and swirly glass and uh, very cool uh, frames. Look at all that McCoy style pottery. You have all that art pottery, collectible stuff. Oh, look at more over here. Vases and, like I said, McCoy looking things and uh, big Christmas trees in the back. All the pottery, china, um, some neat um, collectible VHS tapes. You know how collectible they are. All right, then we are into area number eight, which is right over here. You have tapestries and books and... Um, old silver plate and copper area or copper copper uh whatever that triple boiler um very cool um world's fair glasses prints pictures these are very nice uh, roseville glassware let me jump over here you have a nice set of um, crystal candelabras. You have furs and hats. Oh, this reminds me, over in this section over here, there's a whole bunch of couture and fashion and shoes that's gonna sell later on in the day, probably closer to three o'clock. All right, coming around here, that's area number nine. So then we jump all the way over here to area number 10. Let's go in the proper order. All right, so area number 10 is all this art that's on the wall here. You have some great paintings, you have some prints, you have uh, horse paintings, oil paintings, larger paintings. All right, so that's area number 10. Area number 11 is over here on these shelf units right here area 11 you have everything from stemware to shoes 
to um, collectible purses, to this rock and roll memorabilia and autographs. Uh, speaking of that, there's a whole bunch of Broadway autographs on the other side of the room, too. We can't forget to see that. Look, there's a Lost Boys um, like album cover or something. All right, so that's area number 11. And area number 12, here we go. That's the lower showcases right here. We have everything from trays of jewelry, trays of jewelry, all the way down through here. You have lots of costume jewelry. We did a state that had tons of costume jewelry, a couple of them actually. Lot 18 is from that, and so is Lot uh, 51. Uh, there's some Sterling in there. Here's Lot 97, everything from carved, uh, you know, little deities right there, and Buddhas. And you have like carved grasshoppers, and looks like a thimble collection down here on the bottom, and all these miniatures and miniature items. All right, that's area number 12. Area number 13, more jewelry, area 12 and 13. All this costume jewelry and tray lots of jewelry. I don't know. You decide whether it's costume. It might be, might be gold on there. Uh, pipes, more trays and trays and trays. All this jewelry, jewelry like crazy. All this jewelry, everything from watches, larger watches, and then we get into a little bit of porcelains and um, glassware. Very cool Cupid dolls and looks like Dalton type figures. Let me jump over here. We have everything from um, bangles to more bangles to um, more bangles. Not number thir that was number 13. Now we come over here for area number 14. This is area 14 as we go a little something like um, porcelains and stemwares. In the back, area number 15, everything from statues and brass and copper and uh, Budweiser sign. And then we have area number 16, which is right over this direction. So this will keep us in order. We know where we're going. All the motion lamps. You have all the uh, nice clocks and drinking glasses. And that's Now we're on to area number 17. You have more very cool collectible type items, everything from the Claymont fire hat to um, military items. And these things right here, what are they? Public service type meters of some sort. Uh, fallout shelters. You have the um, Mason placards. And then after area 17, we do the walls here. Some very neat modern prints on the wall. You have everything Ferrari and Ski Aspen and the Beatles Abbey Road and some neat pictures and prints, large format stuff, all full on the wall. So that's area number 18. Now we jump over here to area number 19. We just walk up the table real quick. And again, see all the stuff along the bottom here? A lot of that we move outside. We sell it the day of the sale. Outside. All right, let me move up and down the rows here. Fiesta and shoes by Nike and um, collect, uh, you have everything with kitchen items. You have the um, KitchenAid, you have accessories, rabbits, glassware. You need to dig around. There's some cool items on all these tables. Um, All right, jumping over, area number 20. You have the handmade quilts, you have the button collection, some dolls, some neat uh, Staffordshire. Look at this great clock. China sets, elephant collection. Over here, you have some very unique items. You have that neat Paint Crew 660, uh, the sprayer right there. You have some cool items on the table. There's some Wilson pennants. Um, and here's where I was talking about all the um, signed Broadway stuff. You have everything from, let me just push this stuff down as we go. You have, a lot of these are signed. That one's uh, Lynn Lavin, Judy Dench. Been signed by the whole cast in my life. Some famous names too. Imaginary Friends, Swooshy, Cherry Jones, 
You have the Footloose poster. You have the um, the play the, the play I wrote. More Alger's Wife. That one is Rhea Perlman. This Alger's Wife has uh, Valerie Harper. And uh, there's one for Amadeus. Fully signed up. So, very cool. Oh, there's one more on the bottom. I wonder what it is. And that one is, oh, look at this. The best one's on the bottom. All these famous actors right here. You got their signatures. You got Alan Alda and... and uh, uh, Tom Wopat and Gordon Clapp and Jeffrey Tambor, all that. All right, then we move on to the tables. Very cool, um, very cool cookers. And uh, wheels, keyboards and screens and... Over, over this side. More collectibles, glassware, more of the same. I'm going to go through and take photographs of all these items as well. But the Mahjong set, very nice set of cameras, Pentax and Nikon, uh, Konica. I have a good collection of busts, nice collection of cars. I'm going to do this table right here. So we're going up pretty high on our minutes here. So you finish this table off, then we sell the art. So the art, you can pretty much see the art wall all the way across. I'm going to go through and take photographs of it. You can see those in the photos. Um, at about 3 o'clock, we're going to jump into the um, couture and um, fashion. You have all these bags right here, Le, Le Boutons, all the Christian Le Bouton bags. Imagine there's probably 50 Le Bouton bags there. Uh, Louis Vuitton and all the Chanel's. They were big, big time into the fashion stuff. Hermé, Elizabeth Jones. All right, then we come around here. Here's some more. Hermé, Gucci boxes, clothing. So, so this is the kind of uh, accessories they had. And a lot of these boxes are empty. But this is the clothing out of the house. And this is the shoes and the belts out of the house. Um, so, lots of good high-end couture and fashion stuff. Cool shoes. Look at these shoes. You could go somewhere in them. Those are awesome. What size are they? Who knows? Alright, so once we finish in here, we got all the shoes. Then we come along and about 5 o'clock... We have a whole collection of hockey equipment. Um, some of it's new, some of it's used, but it's all going to sell. There's skates, there's helmets, there's um, inline wheels, there's accessories, there's bags, there's brand new in the package shin pads, street hockey pads, stick bags. These are all. This is a whole box full of stick bags. You got mesh for the nets. You got um, bags, hockey bags themselves. You have um, some good, there's some, there's some higher end uh, shim pads. Look at all the skates, all the figure skates, elbow pads, uh, jerseys, pants, some smaller sizes. Um, great if you want to outfit some friends or if you have some kids that want to start out. Um, so lots of good hockey stuff. There will be more hockey stuff as well that, uh, that we get out. So... At 5 o'clock, all the hockey stuff, because I know a lot of people that play hockey want to buy some of it, but they can't make it to the auction during the day. We're doing it a little bit later in the afternoon. All right, so one more pan in the room. Again, if you didn't see anything, send me an email. I'll, t I'll take a look. Um, but we have, I um, mean, you know, I'll uh, answer your questions. But I'll go through and take pictures of everything, and uh, maybe you can see it in the pictures if, you could, if I went too fast on the video or too slow. Thanks for watching the whole thing, and uh, this is Ken from Uniques and Antiques. We'll see you at the auction. Bye-bye.